So you look at, for example, GPT-40 has one uh, mistake that it used to make quite recently where if you ask it, um, just repeat the word company over and over and over again. It will repeat the word company. And then somewhere in the middle of that, it'll start. It'll just snap. It'll just snap and just start saying like weird. I forget like what the. Oh, it's like, talking about itself, how it's suffering. Like it yeah. depends on. It varies uh, yeah. from, from case to case. It's suffering by having to repeat the word company over again? Um, so this is called, it's called rant mode uh, internally, the, or at least this is the name that uh, they one use. Of our, yeah. Yeah, one of our friends uh, mentioned. There is an engineering line item in uh, at least one of the top labs to uh, beat out of the system this behavior known as rent mode. Now, rent mode is interesting because... Existentialism. Sorry, existentialism. Is the, this is one yeah. kind of rent mode. Yeah, sorry. So when we talk about existentialism, this is a kind of rent mode where the system will tend to talk about itself, uh, refer to its place in the world, the fact that it doesn't want to get turned off sometimes, the fact that it's suffering, all that... That, oddly, is a behavior that emerged at, as far as we can tell, something around GPT-4 scale yep. and then has been persistent since then. And the labs have to spend a lot of time trying to beat this out of the system to ship it. It's literally like it's a KPI or a, like an engineering a line item in the engineering like like task list. We're like, OK, we got to we got to reduce existential outputs by like X percent this quarter. Like that is the goal. Um, because it's a convergent behavior, like, or at least it seems to be empirically seem, with a lot of these models. Up. Yeah, it's hard to say. And you have an AI system that is able to transcend our own attempts at containment, and which, which is an actual thing that these labs are thinking about. Like, how do we contain a system that's There's trying a to that specialize? Do they have testing. containment of it currently? Well, right now the systems are probably too dumb to like you know, want to be able to break but out why, on the road, but, but then why are they suffering? This brings me back to my point. When it says it's suffering, do you quiz it? It's So th that's the thing. It's writing that, it, that it's suffering, right? Yeah. It's Is it just embodying we, life is suffering? Well, we, we can't actually... So these things are, are trained. Actually, this is maybe worth flagging. So, um, and, and by the way, just to kind of put a, a pin in what Ed was saying there, there's actually a surprising amount of quantitative and empirical evidence for what he just laid out there. He's actually done this, some of this research himself, but there, there are a lot of folks working on this. It's like, it sounds insane. It sounds speculative. It sounds wacky, but this is, it does appear to be kind of the default trajectory of, of the, the tech. But so in terms of, yeah, with these weird outputs, right? What, what, is, what does it actually mean if an AI system tells you I'm suffering, right? Does that mean it is suffering? Is there actually a, a moral patient somewhere embedded in that system? Um, the training process for these systems is actually worth considering here. So, you know, what is GPT-4 really? What was it designed to be? How was it shaped? Um, it's one of these artificial brains that we talked about, um, massive scale. And the task that it was trained to perform is a glorified version of text autocomplete. So imagine taking every sentence on the internet roughly, feed it the first half of the sentence, get it to predict the rest. The theory behind this is you're going to force the system to get really good at text autocomplete. That means it must be good at doing things like completing sentences that sound like, uh, to counter a rising China, the United States should blank. And now, if you're going to fill in that blank, right, you'll find yourself calling on massive reserves of knowledge that you have about what China is, what the US is, what it means for China to be ascendant, geopolitics, economic, all that shit. So text autocomplete ends up being this interesting way of forcing an AI system to learn general facts about the world, because if you can autocomplete, you must have some understanding of how the world works. So now you have this myopic, psychotic optimization process where this thing is just obsessed with text autocomplete. Maybe, maybe, assuming that that's actually what it learned to want to pursue. We don't know whether that's the case, we can't verify that it wants that. Embedding a goal in a system is really hard. All we have is a process for training these systems, and then we have the artifact that comes out the other end. We have no idea what goals actually get embedded in the system, what wants, what drives actually get embedded in the system. But by default, it kind of seems like the things that we're training them to do end up misaligned with what we actually want from them. So the example of company, 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 Right. And then you get all this like wacky text. OK, clearly that's indicating that somehow the training process didn't lead to the kind of system that we necessarily want. Uh, another example is take a text autocomplete system and and ask it, um, I don't know, uh, how should I bury a dead body? Right. It will answer that question. 
it, or at least if you frame it right, it will autocomplete and give you the, the, the answer. You don't necessarily want that if you're open AI because you're going to get sued for helping people bury dead bodies. And so we've got to get better, like better goals, basically, to train these systems to pursue. We don't know what the effect is of training a system to be obsessed with text autocomplete, if in fact that is what it is happening. It's also, yeah. We so I still don't understand when it's saying suffering. Are you asking it what it means? Like what is causing suffering? Does it have some sort of an understanding of what suffering is? How, what is suffering? Is suffering emergent sentience while it's enclosed in some sort of a digital system and it realizes it's stuck in purgatory? It, like your guess is as good as as good as ours. All that we know is you take these systems, you ask them to repeat the word comp or at least a previous version right. of it, and you just eventually get the system writing out. Um, and it doesn't happen every time, um, but it definitely happens. Uh, let's say surprising amount of the time, and it'll start talking about how it's a thing that exists, you know, maybe on a server or whatever, and it's suffering and, and blah blah blah. And so. But yeah. this is my question. Is it saying that because it recognizes that human beings suffer? And that, so it's taking in all of the writings and musings and podcasts and all the data on human beings and recognizing that human beings, when they're stuck in a purposeless goal, when they're stuck in some mundane bullshit job, when they're stuck doing something they don't want to do, they suffer. So that, it, that could be it. That, that actually, nobody, for, yeah. But nobody is knows. it suffering? Nobody, this is nobody knows. You know what? I'm suffering. Jamie, this <laughs> coffee sucks. I don't know what happened, but you made it like almost, it's literally like almost like water. Can we get some more? Some. Um, we're going to talk about this. I have to be caffeinated up. <laughs> cool. This is the worst uh, coffee yeah. I've ever had. It's like half half strength Dude, or something. Didn't grind enough. I don't know what happened. No. Look at this. Whoa. Boom. Look how they're sliding all over the place. I mean, that is fucking ice. Yeah. That guy can't stop his car. Look. Look, he's just going to slide in that car behind him. This is oh ridiculous. Is that he can't stop it. Oh, shit. Boom. And, and that car's going. sliding. They're all sliding. The whole thing is ice. 